I can get this. Borrowed the boss's laser. Frickin' hits the center of all that and then hits the center of that pipe. So I guess I didn't do too bad. And when you put tile in, I've never done this, but my one of my uh, the back wall is going to have a seam down it. And so I'm lining it up with the plumbing, not the wall, with the plumbing. Always center off the plumbing. That's what you want to center off of. Alright guys, it's also going to help me a lot to know where I need what shim. This side, I don't think I need shim. That side, the back corner is pretty close out here. It's about an inch. So we'll get some some values written down on it here and there for what shim I need and uh, then I'm going to cut some 2x4 down to some strips and uh, I'm going to go opposite the ribs in the pan that way I can kind of set it in there I'll put the mud in put extra because it's going to have you know some of the spots over here are lower up in here for instance so it's going to need a little extra mud Back here in the corner, it's pretty close. I'll just mud until, just put mud to where the uh, the high spots are, and uh, then I'll put measure the mud on. When I put the mud down for the pan, you got to put extra, so it I guess seeps up into the ribs in the pan, and uh, I'll go for, I'll measure down to those boards. That's why I'm gonna just run a couple of a couple of shim boards across there. You gotta get it in level and I'm gonna be floating it in, so this side I'll be able to push down on. That side, without a couple of boards, I wouldn't. And I want it to be pretty, you know, pretty damn level. Side walls, rear wall, I want everything pretty damn level when I get this pan set. It's gonna make everything else so much easier.